Hello everyone! My name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you my new PPT lesson Musical Instruments designed for grade 2 or 3 students. In this lesson students learn 8 musical instruments, sing a song, do a few exercises and play a fun game to practice a simple dialogue. I performed the song in the video and the music track was mastered and mixed by our school music teacher, an actual music man, Oleg Zdan. Thank you Oleg for your help. This PPT lesson is available for sale in my stores on Teachers Pay Teachers and Taobao. To download it, please follow the link above or click on the link in the description below the video. Before you watch the walkthrough, I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons, Martina and Peter, whose dedication to supporting my channel has no limits. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Also, if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe and consider becoming my patron. Our community is growing and your support is a great motivator. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Musical Instruments by Teacher Val And that would be me. <laughs> Well, I'm going to skip the warm-up routine and I'm going to get right to the class, to the lesson. New words. We start with new vocabulary words. First, you explain what a musical instrument is and you can elicit uh, what your students already know by asking them this question. What musical instruments do you know? This will give you a pretty good idea what they already know. And then here we go. The first instrument is the piano. Uh, this is a piano. A piano has 88 keys. They are black and white. Actually, they just need to say the word piano, learn the word piano. This is extra information for your strong students. So, uh, you know how we always say we have to use differentiated instruction in our class. So, the, the lesson objective uh, is for them to learn uh, eight musical instruments. So, your weak students can learn the word piano and your strong students can get a little bit of extra information about the piano. And then we have a visual here. And we proceed to the next musical instrument. Um, each slide is followed by a short video where students can see the instrument and they can also um, listen to how it sounds. Let me show you one more. Trombone. This is a trombone. It is loud and I think it sounds cool. Can you play the trombone? No, I can't, unfortunately. I think it sounds cool. After you go through all eight musical instruments, uh, you get to do some exercises. So exercise number one is say the word. 
Um, it's a very simple one. You ask the students, what is number two, for example? And they need to say number two is the piano. And you ask again, what is number four? Number four is the violin. Simple. And now let's sing a song. As I mentioned before, I performed this song um, by myself and the audio track was mastered and mixed by uh, a real music man, Oleg Zidane. I'm going to show you um, a few seconds of this video. If you want to see the whole thing, please go to my store and buy this PowerPoint. Thank you. I am the music man, and this is what I play. The piano, the piano, I like to play the piano. Pia, pia, piano, 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 pia, pia, piano. Now you try. This is the karaoke version of the song, and this is how it works. So when you click next, uh, let's sing together. They're gonna hear just the music and you can sing along together with your students. And this is what I play, the piano, the piano, I like to play the piano. Pia, pia, piano, 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 pia, pia, piano. And now you can click next. And you uh, see the next light. And the violin. Well, anyways, you play the song until the end, and the music is going to stop automatically when you get to this slide. Here we go. Finish the sentence. So here, your students need to finish uh, these four sentences. The drums goes boom, the flute goes toot, the trombone goes oompa, and the guitar goes twang. This is good for uh, the pronunciation. Next, what is the letter? A very simple exercise, a spelling exercise. Students need to um, choose the correct letter. So in this case, it's guitar, A, piano, I, violin, and <clears throat> you the flute guess the instrument next exercise in this exercise your students need to listen uh, to the instrument and say the letter and the instrument if they can again the weak students say the letter the strong students can say the instrument but uh, by this stage by, by by this point in your lesson i think all your students will be able to say um the musical instruments so let me show you how it works so you click you listen what is it what instrument is that you ask and they would say F or the drums. Let's listen to one more. What instrument is that? And they're gonna say the piano. You click next and then they will see, yes, it's the piano, P, the piano. Now we get to dialogue practice. So you're gonna display two dialogues on the board. One is, do you play any instruments? Yes, I play the piano. How well do you play? Very well. And here's the second one. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I play the drums. How well do you play? So, so. That's it. And now you can practice it together with the whole class. Um, also, you see this rectangle? Um, if you want, you can click on it and this will remove uh, it. Yeah. So this way, you know, you can help your students in case they forget the words. All right, so we are practicing the dialogue, practicing, practicing, practicing with the musical instruments, and we get to the final game. Uh, I call it the boom game, right? So um, how do we play it? Uh, you need to invite 
two students from one team to say the dialogue out and then you pick a square for points and you need to watch out for bombs i'll show it what it looks i'll show it to you what it looks like a bit later so here's the dialogue you need to write it down on the board for everyone to see and uh here's a game actually it's a simple point tracker so they say the dialogue in, in you know in pairs and then they need to pick a square you know we can ask them which square do you pick and then they say i pick a2 so they do it for points if it's a2 you click on a2 and woohoo they have three points so here they can get one to five points so one two three four or five points but if they click on a bomb they lose five points kids love this game because you know it brings this competitive element to their class and they're and they feel motivated to participate and say the dialogue so for example b3 there we go it's a bomb i'm sorry you lose five points all right so here we go and this is the end of the class so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you did please go uh, to my store and buy it thank you very much and i will see you in my next video bye everyone